Hey everyone, today we'll be focusing on graphs today, particularly focusing on iterative depth first search for a directed graph. And without any further hesitation, let's get started. And now we're going to perform depth first search iteratively. So I'm going to go void depth first search iterative uh, for our following vector that we have over here. And then we're going to have a vector of Boolean to determine if uh, what has been visited as well. Visited uh, V for false. And then we're gonna, since depth for search typically uses stacks, we're gonna create a stack of integers to indicate what has already been visited. And then we're gonna push any vertex that we have to start inside of our stack. And while the stack is not empty, we're gonna take the top of the stack. And we're gonna consistently add it by doing a stack pop and then see in particular what has been visited and such. So if uh, the following vertex has not been visited from what we've already been added, we're gonna output the following vertex as well, and the next one at the same time. And then we're gonna go visited for V, it's true, indicating of what has been visited. And there we go. Then we're gonna have a four auto loop as well, so four, auto uh, i equals adjacency uh, list of vectors puts um, our begin starting at the very beginning um, which given the fact that a stack typically uh, operates like a stack of plates where everything is considered at the top this is why we have our begin and then the next part we're going to go as i as an iterator it doesn't equal adjacency v uh, end over here we're going to increment i accordingly, and then we're going to check to see what has been visited and what hasn't by saying if the following iterator sees a vertex and has not been visited by doing this symbol here, we're going to keep pushing inside of our stack until we have seen everything already. There we go, and then I'm going to put count and l. And now the next part, I'm going to go directly back inside of our main function, and then we can do iterative depth for search. In fact, I'm going to put this right here, part to us removing everything. There we go. Count depth for search iterative starting from the first vertex, which is what we see. And then I'm going to do a graph def for search iterative for the very first one, which will be zero. Make sure you have your semicolons here. And then we're going to run this. It'll succeed it going up to the top. Yes. All right. So after the graph has already been built, in fact, what I'm going to be doing, I'll just put this up here uh, to be able to showcase what has been going on. There we go. This should probably give us, there we go. Depth for search. Right here, we see zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And this is the process for us to be able to actually uh, have depth for search um, iteratively for us designing it. So again, this is how we perform depth for search in an iterative stance. And there are different ways that we can actually build depth for search, uh, such as recursion by calling upon depth for search repeatedly as well. And that'll be another design pattern to be able to put in uh, that will be showcasing to you folks to actually show uh, to show the nature of Duffer Search and how it's typically built in different formats. So yes, now let's focus on building Duffer Search recursively. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions or suggestions, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye bye.